said, well, what then? He said, been dreaming all week about seagulls and about spinning out. <laughs> now, those seagulls found out you can't play chicken with a 3,700-pound car, 3,500-pound car. Here we are, lights off on the pace car, and down to it, showing 396 complete. That means 397 when they come to the strike. Three to go when they come by. Lined up, Earnhardt, Rudd, Wallace, Gant, one, two, and there you see Rudd inching right up there. He doesn't want to let Earnhardt out of his figure sight. But, but Earnhardt gets a little bit of a jump as they come to the line. You see, Beth, sir, you're talking about Kane. We'll get right where you were talking about then, and here was that trouble getting up to speed. Didn't have it that time. Absolutely flawless. He is so good on restart, but two or three times that car seemed to bog down earlier today. Not the case. Coming by. Two-lap indicator on the field. Earnhardt back in front. If Ricky Rudd has anything, now is the out. Closing. Rudd moves in. Two to go. Cuts at the half car length. This is live on TBS. Finish the Pontiac Excitement 400. This time by one to go, and Ricky Rudd is there knocking on the door. To the strike. White flag is out. Rudd goes to the inside. Makes his move. Ricky Rudd of that Waddell Wilson power. Here comes Earnhardt back on the outside. Ricky Rudd hangs her low. Wallace looking on from about four car lengths back. Back straight away. Earnhardt has the advantage into three. Stays high. Here comes Rudd. One more try. Pulls up on the inside. Down they come to the line. It will be Earnhardt's 49th Winston Cup win by less than a car length over Ricky Rudd. Earnhardt gave an inside lane, Rudd took it, they didn't even touch on the last lap coming off the corner. Great finish here at Richmond, and Earnhardt is the Earnhardt of old. He may have lost Daytona, but he's won his third Pontiac Excitement 400.